Safety car in the pit lane. Green flag in the air. Five and a half minutes to go, and we're racing. And immediately, JC Perez is under pressure from Corey Lewis. Taylor Proto caught napping just a little bit down to turn one. The two leaders. That's not the place to go, Corey. But he might be able to just pull the car to the left hand side. He's cost himself second position yes, here. He's cost momentum, that's for sure. And Pisic is looking at Taylor Proto, I should say, is going to look around the outside into turn two. And this is going to allow JC Perez to get a bit of a lead, but he's outbreaking himself. But he'll pull that back to the right hand side. Not the worst thing to do there, as we saw from Madison Snow and second and third are battling here the white car on driver's left is Corey Lewis and he's going to have to defend all the way down the hill he gets to the apex but he's costing himself momentum every time he turns the wheel every time he moves the car he costs himself a mile an hour or a half a mile an hour he's so late on the brakes though down into four Lewis did a good job there I thought he was tossed there Brian when he went for the move at turn one it's taken him half a lap to re-establish himself in second place but do he has done that now such a good job I mean your heart's beating fast in that situation. Corey knows that at this stage in the race, five minutes left, it's do or die. And he tried the position, cost him some time, and almost gave away the position, but he did a phenomenal job of keeping him behind him. I mean, it's just a really, really tough situation to be in. And now he gets to have another crack at the leader, JC Perez, just struggling with his breaking points here a little bit, whilst he's waiting for the Pirellis to come back up to temperature and pressure. Comes across the start finish line. Four minutes and eight seconds to go. Now, and Corey should look for the keyhole here. Turn one should not even be an option. Try and set it up, get a good run. Looks he's like done he's it. done that now. But now he Perez has got to steer drivers right. If he opens the door on the inside, he's going to have one, two, possibly three. Lambos going down it. He pulls across to the racing line. The nose dives for the tarmac. Round the outside by Taylor Prono in the blue Lamborghini. This is going to be side by side coming out of the keyhole. And look at the car behind Brandon Godovic. That's right. I was going to say, watch out for car number 46, Brandon Godovic. He's right there now as the two uh, second and third place cars go absolutely side by side. It's been a really good restart by JC Perez. Doesn't have anything like the experience of uh, Corey Lewis in second place as a former world champion in these cars. And Taylor Proto oh, is in just his second year of racing, but around the outside of, of uh, Proto goes Brandon Gidobi coming to third place. Oh, the lead, and he's move. touched him. Oh. Corey's touched the left left front to right rear, and that is a I tap, and uh, there's a puncture, puncture, puncture on the right rear. Yep. Oh, and that's going to get a... I'm afraid that's going to cause all kinds of problems, and it will, I think, get a penalty as well. And oh, he no. oh, breaks and turns, gets turned around at turn nine, and this is a disaster for Perez, who'd done so well. Brilliant. And Corey Lewis has... Very impressive, that I, was. I'm afraid ruined that race with that little tap, went for the inside at turn six. And yeah, Lewis, I mean, I'm sure, will get a he had penalty the, he, for that. I mean, Corey Lewis had the pace. Yes. There was no need to do anything silly like Particularly that. Particularly not frankly. there. Particularly not there. We'll leave Brian out of this conversation. <laughs> it's a, it's such a hard thing. I mean, right now, Corey's looking and seeing the pressure from behind. Yeah. Full course yellow. Rattled. And this will end under full course yellow. The positions will be frozen and the man I think who's going to win this is Brandon Godovic we said watch out for him he's made the bold move on T Taylor Proto when they were coming through madness and down into the S's the door was open but he's not there he's not quite no. there he's not even halfway up the side of the leader he tried to pinch it down and got on the curbs as yeah. soon as he came off the curbs he's going to hit the car in front which is exactly what happened and Perez trying to stay out the way yeah. but the back of the car is all over the place and then coming through, Brandon got Godovic. I think you got to help there also. He was on the brakes, in fairness, yeah. coming over nine, but I'm not surprised because the car would have been moving around all over the place and all he wants to do is stay out of the way. And he got a nudge into the wall. And uh, the, I'm afraid the day is over early for the 71 and the P1 Motorsports Broward car is in the wall on the exit of nine. And that's all she wrote. I think we got to go back real quick, though, and talk about that move that Brandon <laughs> did. Because yes. in, oh, that was in all the excitement, you it's so easy to miss that move. And he drove around the outside of turn five. And it's just so impressive. That is a difficult move to make. Yeah, and it was definitely a touch from Taylor Proto that turned around JC Perez just over the brow of turn nine. And the damage to the right rear, clear to see on the 71 car. And it was the left rear that's gone into the wall. So that is a, a it was a, the, the lightest of touches, Jeremy. Uh, but that's enough oh, to puncture yeah. a tire or break a wheel. Yeah, well, it was, it was 
fairly stout, I think, as he came off the curb and sort of cannoned into the side. I mean, he tried to get out of it, but it was a move that wasn't really on because, uh, uh, yeah, the door was pr probably cracked open a little bit by Perez, but he'd stuffed it down the inside. We are going to finish under caution, but uh, Brandon Godovic, he's had a, a pair of second-place finishes before in this championship. Uh, he has uh, won the uh, AM category in the World Championship in 2015, so quite a lot of experience in these cars for the former stock car racer, but he's here. He was going Brilliant. for that first win. He really wants that first win. He set that up at turn four, Brian, in the uh, 46 the black and red Lamborghini. He set that up from turn four from a very long way back. He also managed to avoid JC Perez as well. And he checked up, he didn't hit the back of, of the car. He did a very good job there. And if he is uh, promoted to the win, I, I think he deserves that just for that audacious maneuver yeah. at four, five and six. I, I have to say, I think Jeremy's gonna disagree with me on this one and that's okay. Uh, but I think race control may have a hard time issuing a, a, a penalty for the, the the move there. While it's clear that there was contact, I think that... It wasn't deliberate. It you're wasn't deliberate. Right. No, you're absolutely and, right, and and that doesn't mean agree. That doesn't mean that there shouldn't be something, but I do think that, that Corey did everything he could to get over the curb, and I think, you know, okay, could Perez have given him a little bit more room? Possibly, yeah. but... It's terrible, regardless yeah. of how you look at no, it. I completely agree. I wouldn't expect to see a penalty there. Uh, really? Uh, no, not I really. Wouldn't. It wasn't. It was nothing deliberate. It was, it, and the, as Brian says, the door was definitely open. But with somebody of his experience, I think it was a, a sort of mistake the driver that experience shouldn't make. Checkered flag then under full course yellow and round one race one of the Lamborghini Super Troll fail for 2018 is complete. Corey Lewis crosses the line in the 29 Lamborghini of Charlotte Huracan, which was started by Madison Snow. Great run by those guys. Madison Snow doing a fantastic job to hold off Trent Hinman early on and hold on to what was then second position. They've converted it into the victory as they go across the line. Second place, Brandon Godovich took over the 46 car.